All right, we conclude this lesson with a very quick, and I mean very quick, look at Kingdom Protista. We learned about Protus a long time ago. We know how you get into Kingdom Protista, and how is that again? Let's see, you got to be eukaryotic. In other words, you got to have a nucleus. And besides that, how do you get into Kingdom Protista? Not based on what you have, but what? Based on what you don't have. You don't have the defining characteristics of plants, fungi, or animals. Uh, and so if you have a nucleus and you're lacking the defining characteristics of plants, fungi, or animals, you end up in Kingdom Protista. But an awful lot of things, that includes a lot of different kinds of things. And uh, if you decided you wanted to be an expert in Kingdom Protista, whoa, there'd be a lot to know because your textbook says there's approximately how many species within Kingdom Protista, at least how many have been discovered and identified. About 100,000 species of protists have been identified. 100,000 species. Here's three of them in this picture right here. Golden algae, green algae, and brown algae. And so, um, question number two uh, asks, in what type of environment do most protists live? Well, here's golden algae, green algae, and brown algae. And here's another one called paramecium. Gee, in what type of environment do these... Uh, do these live? I bet where it's wet, right? Where it's wet. And so uh, either damp or fully aquatic. The rivers, streams, lakes, oceans of the world are filled with protists. That's where they live. And uh, so uh, damp, wet, moist, fully aquatic. That's where protists live. What is the common term for photosynthetic protists? Well, here's three photosynthetic protists here. Gee. Hmm, what word do we see in common? Uh, it looks like algae, right? And so the common term for photosynthetic protists is algae. We learned about algae a long time ago as well. There was a question many units ago, into which kingdom are all algae placed, including seaweed? And the answer was what? All algae are now placed in kingdom protista, including seaweed. Did seaweed, were seaweed in Kingdom Protista 30 years ago? No, they were not. They were plants, but now they're protists due to a definition change, wax executive, all that stuff. So, uh, <clears throat> all algae are now protists by definition. All algae are protists. On the flip side, all photosynthetic protists are some kind of algae. All photosynthetic protists are some kind of algae. So all protists are, all algae are protists, and all photosynthetic protists are some kind of algae. Now, are all protists photosynthetic? No. Here's a paramecium right here. It's not photosynthetic. And uh, so there are lots of protists that aren't photosynthetic. This is just one example. What's the term for them? They're not called algae. What are they called? Well, they're called protozoans is kind of a common term for protists that are not photosynthetic. Protozoans. So a paramecium would not be an algae, a type of algae. It would be a protozoan. And so uh, last question, how does a paramecium move? Well, you see all these little hairs. They are called cilia, C-I-L-I-A, cilia. And in a living protist, which this would not have been a living protist, uh, they beat in unison, and they move the, the paramecium all over the place, wherever it wants to go. And so, how many cells big is a paramecium, by the way? One cell big. It's a very complicated little cell. And uh, if you uh, care to study it into it a little bit, but uh, we don't have to at this time. This ends our very, very brief uh, look at Kingdom Protista. Okay, that's it.